Good evening ladies and gentlemen, my name is Baker Bakertron and welcome to another game of Homeworld. Today we will have a 1v1 on the map Subjugate Your Fens. So this is a bit of a return to normal after uh, I think the last two games have been slightly different so yes, just hopefully should be a pretty pretty decent 1v1 for today. Anyway to uh, stop rambling, today our players will be as the green Kushan, this is a player called Naked from the clan SLS. Uh, I looked it up and apparently SLS stands for uh, Space Lords Syndicated, if I remember correctly. So that's something we know about them, otherwise I don't have any more information. Which is not fantastic, but uh, you know, it's, it's more than I know about any other clan. So. There we go. Anyway, his opponent as the purple Tidan. This is a player. I've got to make sure I get this right. So, this is Hanging Free Apollo, who I've not heard of before. But there is an Apollo in Clan SLS, so it might be the same player. It might not. I, I don't know. But, yeah. Who knows? Let's, let's just enjoy the game, really. So all we can hope for. So right off at the start we can see a couple of different, well minor differences in how the players are operating. Um, we can see for example that Naked has gone for four resource collectors right off the bat and just and one controller while his opponent has opted to go for a second support frigate and he only has two controllers and actually is that a third? yes, oh there's a third there so he's one controller down but he's got an extra support for it so how much of a difference that's going to make? I don't know however this should make quite a bit of a difference this second controller this just means uh, well each controller I think can do two or actually no, only one here can only sort of take one harvester at a time. So adding a second one should help out Naked's economy quite a bit. But we'll just have to um, we'll have to keep that in mind for now. Another thing to keep in mind is that once again I cannot select these units so I can't see exactly what hanging was it hanging free Apollo has. So I have to get really close to see. Those are just light corvettes for now. Uh, actually, is that there a light corvette, or is that that is a heavy corvette? So hanging fee is going into the corvette line of ships. Whilst uh, let's see if we can try to figure out what naked is doing. Well, he's got a second support figured out, but he's still sticking with light corvettes and scouts. So we don't know yet. Although if he'd have gone for corvettes or interceptors, I'd expect them to be out by now. But just keep an eye on them for now. And yeah, that's all there is really to say about this. Pretty standard ships moving towards the centre of the map, so hopefully it will kick off soon because I'm running out of things to say. Uh, yeah, see heavy corvettes. I hope we get to see some multi gun corvettes as well because I love the tie down multi-gun corvette design especially with this nice purple colour yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm really doing well with the commentary today giving really great in-depth analysis into the thought processes that both players are going for actually well yeah we can see already here these controllers are going to start paying off fairly soon but let's just get closer here can we see no, it's still just a few heavy corvettes. There's another one coming in, and in fact, these scouts have decided to attempt to take out uh, a harvester. The scouts of um, Hanging for Apollo have reacted. One of Naked scouts is down, but if you look at all the other explosions, they appear to be coming from uh, Naked for Apollo. Not Naked Free Apollo, Hanging Free Apollo, the purple player. 
is he's definitely the one losing the ships here. Uh, only two scouts down, four naked so far. So he's just maybe he's just got a few more extra ships. Maybe he's just got slightly better control over them. We can see how this sort of corvette wall is suffering immensely. There's a huge amount of enemy corvettes here, and these two support frigates I don't think are going to be enough to keep them alive. No. And the problem is, is once you start to start getting the corvette advantage, you begin, well, you can produce three corvettes at a time, light, me, light, heavy, and multi. You see the multi corvettes just go into town right there, and so that just builds up very rapidly with, with three ship productions at a time. Because if you think about uh, fighters, you can only really build scouts and interceptors to counter the corvettes, and you can kind of go to attack bombers, but I don't really know if they're that useful against corvettes. Certainly they're not as good as multi-gun corvettes in a fight, so... Oh, against other corvettes. So if, if you're sticking with the fighters, it becomes harder and harder to counter the corvettes. I hope that makes sense. It makes sense in my head. But we can see that isn't what uh, Naked is going for. He's gone for the assault frigates. And that's pretty good, but it's going to take him a while to get out enough to sort of counteract this huge corvette group and they've just taken out one harvester or maybe not there's two harvesters down here so maybe something else exploded like a probe or something and in fact we can see what's going on here it looks like the an attempt to kamikaze although Okay, one of the, should be noted, a couple of the interceptors hit these asteroids, and the problem with kamikaze against heavy multi-gun corvettes is it takes a lot of scouts to uh, kill them off. So they have, they it, it gives them a few more seconds to get healed up by the support frigates, and if you don't get like four, well three or four scouts on the same corvette within like five seconds, it's going to survive and then just get healed up. So didn't quite work out as well as Naked would have hoped for and now his frigates are going to start to suffer and this, as I say, this is just getting so many ships added to it the scouts as well here, the scouts are sort of aiming at this while the corvettes are up and they're just shredding these assault frigates the assault frigates are trying their best to sort of hunt this down but at the moment it's not looking good for Naked he needs a missile destroyer might help, a destroyer-ish, but really it's got to be a gravel generator. Now he's gone for frigates which I believe gives him uh, some of the tech that gravel generator needs, but not all, but I should hope to see one out soon otherwise this is going to be a game over moment. I mean he's, he's managed to damage this harvester so that's not too bad and has he kept his own harvester uh, he has kept three of his harvesters alive so he's doing quite well there and in fact I think he did manage to take out that harvester so harvesters I think are now two for hanging free and three for naked actually it might only be one for hanging free if you, you can't really see any others apart from this one down here somewhere up, up there even that is his only harvester yes and we can see right up in the distance we have iron frigates and a gravwell of course the gravwell helps the iron kind of frigates immensely although when they're in this sort of large formation and they're not dodging that much iron cannons can actually hit them or hit the corvettes so it could really go either way. I think it's going to come down to this here. Does Hanging Free Apollo spot it? Does he get out in time? If he gets caught, does he kill it? Does he have something he can ram into it? Well, he's got the three uh, resource collectors. They can each destroy it, but they're quite far away. And he might not think about it. He might not realise he can kamikaze into it. So. I mean, that's just a huge amount of resources and firepower just completely locked out of the game now. So, 
hanging Fiapato has got to pull something out of, out of the bag. And I think, in fact, he might have. So he's gone also for Iron Cannon Figures. This didn't go for Mine Lane Tech, which is what he could have gone, or for Salvage Corvettes. And it's probably best that he didn't. Although I, I'm not sure if Mine Layers can just sort of hang out of the range of the Gravel Generator. So hang here and drift mines onto it, but it's going to be difficult because, well, the hanging for Apollo wouldn't be able to see the sphere that we can, so he wouldn't know exactly, unless he's really good, he wouldn't know what he needs to stay out of, the sort of area he needs to stay out of. Anyway, this is his last harvester, and it's not going to survive that much longer. And it looks like there's a load of scouts attempting to kill the harvesters of Naked, but their support frigates, and they're not really going to do. I don't think they're going to manage it. The support frigates here for uh, hang yes, it's hanging free, but they're a bit confused and they're not sure what they should be doing. They could move over here, or they could help his own harvester, but it's dead now, so no more harvesting for uh, hanging free Apollo. Well, he has almost killed this off, but there's a second one just waiting for it to die, and these support frigates are moving up. So these these support frigates are, need to get in to do something, preferably keep these iron cannon frigates alive. Because at the moment it's just they're just wasted of resources, and there is a chance, or there was a chance, for these corvettes to escape. It might even be worth worth retiring some of them since he has no income. And he could maybe try to switch to frigate production. Although he's got a lot of catching up to do. There's a lot of frigates out now, four naked. Of course he still has three harvesters. So he's in fact got three of every frigate. Apart from drone frigates, but you know. When do we ever see them? And this this gravel generator has been saved by three so this is something to note. Three uh, support frigates do seem to keep something alive from two iron cannon frigates. These two iron cannon frigates are really struggling to kill it. They might actually get it though. So they might just do slightly more DPS than the support frigates can heal. Yep, oh, and there it goes. However, these frigates down here have done a right number. Oh, have done a uh, slang. Not slang. Never mind. I've killed a lot of these corvettes. It's not quite the scary force as it was a few minutes ago. It's still pretty pretty scary, but and I suppose if these support frigates, although there's only one left, if they can get behind the wall and start doing damage, start healing damage, they might they might do quite a bit themselves. But right now, I don't know. It, it's still quite even, in fact. Though yet more frigates coming out, so let's see what we've got. We've got three assault frigates, four supports, three iron cannons versus all these corvettes. And the problem is, as I say, they're not they're not like corvettes. They're not scouts. They're not really dodging enemy fire. There's a bunch of scouts down here, but they're still struggling to kill off these harvesters. I think they may have got them one so far. Well, that's one way to kill them off. But he's still, but naked is still harvesting. That's the important thing. He can still be producing another grav well, or maybe he's, he could go for a missile destroyer or a normal destroyer, or just keep on throwing out frigates. Eventually, he's going to kill this off. They're not getting reinforcements. They're not. They don't have a support frigate. We can just see. Well, that's one way to weaken them as well. Just some more scout kamikazing. And this poor figure isn't even healing anything, it needs to get healing. So, it's the battle, I think, actually, is still 50 50 either way, but just the long term strategic prospects for hanging for Apollo does not look good. He's got to make something happen pretty soon. In fact, there is a second Gravwell, no, a second verse, about the third, is it? Coming out, and it's not going to take long for it to just capture these. Corvettes, and when he does, it's going to be all over for hanging free. No income, only one frigate, and all the Corvettes locked down. That's going to be it. Unless he's got a, something else on the way. No, he doesn't, and he knows it. So, that is the end.
So, congratulations to Naked SLS and commiserations to Hanging Free Apollo. That was some nice tactics out of both players. Good to see players attempting to do to do different strategies against each other and seeing how well they play off. So, that was a good fun game. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoy it, please like, subscribe, get drunk, whatever you want to do. I'll see you all next time. Thank you and goodbye.